What's up guys, this is Hactical, and today we are looking at a Sika Quick Pro Select Asphalt Patch. It is a two-part mixture, mixes right in the bag. We got some jellies here, we got some crunchies here. We're gonna throw it together. It is self-leveling, rapid hardening, not even a tool required. What a steal. We're gonna throw it at some asphalt and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna take a quick moment to pour myself a bowl of crunchies and see what they got going on here. That is uh, pretty good. Maybe I'll uh, wash it down with some jellies. All right, wipe. Now back to the bag real quick, just to see all the mumbo jumbo that you are not supposed to do. For instance, not for internal consumption. Oh, we're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> if you are trying to eat asphalt pats, then this is not the video for you. <laughs> so let's see here. Only for use on existing asphalt, as opposed to concrete. Grass. Non-existing asphalt. Wife units. What are you Vehicles. Oh. Passing cars. Slow down. So it's even got a uh, handy dandy little chart here how to use. Make sure you got the equipment. Check. And then you're supposed to roll it up, shake it like it's hot for 20 seconds, then cut it and pour it in. All right, so we're gonna be running through the process as mentioned on the bag. So first we need to clean the existing asphalt off. Yeah, some compressed air or brush comes in handy right there. And then it is a two part mixture. So you wanna get the jellies and the crunchies together and you gotta roll up the jellies towards the arrows and you'll feel a distinct pop and that'll break the barrier. And then you can roll the rest of the jellies into there to get the most out of the product. And then just like the bag says, you gotta shake it for about 20 to 30 seconds and make sure that you shake the corners to get everything out of it. Uh, it does say to use a shoe shine polishing method that I'm using on my knee there. And I would say to use a harder surface, harder edge to really work that stuff together, uh, to break up those, <clears throat> the clumps of the crunchies so that you don't get too big of a, too big of stuff trying to come out. And then once you mix those together, you want to stick to that 20 to 30 second mark because it starts to set up very fast. So if you don't hit that, you're gonna be having a, a big bag of solid junk at the end. So then you get your uh, your handy scissors or whatever you got and make a, just cut off the corner of the bag for a nice oozing motion out of there. And as you can see, it just splooges right out of the bag, right into the hole. And it is self-leveling. It doesn't move around a whole lot. So you will need to kind of guide it around. And because it is self-leveling, it has a very nice sheen to it at the end if you don't touch it up at all. So in order to fix that, you can use a tool, like a trowel or a spade or something, and give it a texture that is similar to the asphalt around it so that it doesn't look like a patch. Try to make it as, uh, as not noticeable as possible. All right, so this is two weeks after installing the Sika Quick Asphalt Patch. And as you can see, it is fully cured. It uh, feels real hard, just hard compared to the same uh, asphalt around it. But just to test that, got my handy dandy testerizer right here. If you don't think hitting asphalt with a hammer is a good test, then you can watch a different channel. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, seems like it uh, passes the, uh, the, the testerizer test. So, I did notice some things here. I could have uh, made it a little bit better. Uh, so it actually came and was uh, can kind of contiguous here. So it wasn't like water could get trapped in here. So there's some things I could do better at. Hopefully you do it better than I did. Non-exist, ah, uh, weak. And today we are going to be, ah, uh... <coughs> let's try it again. Hey, see a quick asphalt pack right here. We're going to mix it together and see if it patches holes in concrete. No. Non-existing asphalt. <laughs> Try it again. Non isn't busy. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Seek a quick asphalt patch should be used on existing concrete as opposed to asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take two, now that I've figured out the difference between asphalt and concrete. Nah, I'm in the freaking sun. I wonder if that makes noise if you can hear all that trash. All right, using the lapel, 
ran up the back of my shirt here so hopefully nobody can see it behind my freaking uh thing here i guess it's not as easy as it looks by the way you can't see that can you uh, okay <laughs> oh. <laughs> well hang on we got one truck coming by Try that one more time. Hopefully you can't tell the bag's all like jacked up. Ugh. All right, we got more people coming. People don't even care about me and doing these videos, dude. I, I swear. Maybe stuff outdoors is not the thing for me. All right. This is, uh, hopefully you don't see that in that far. And I still think after all this, it's still not going to be good audio. There's like never a problem with cars going by. Like, why is this road so busy? We're not even like near. I don't know. There's like nobody. Lives down, I don't get it. What do you think about that one? Put it in the essential oils part. All right. <clears throat> I'll do another one, I guess. There's... All right. <clears throat> do it again, because I, I kind of like that one. Right. Hope it's even a good shot. Check, 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 check. Blech. I don't think I hear that. Whoa. Whoa. It's not as easy as it looks, man. All right. It's not like focusing. All right. Let's try it. Cuisine art. We should get paid for this. Alright. And still good. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. These crunches are too big. Alright, I'll try this one more time. Dang it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so stupid. Make my look bigger. Crunching audio. Oh, we're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> Maybe that one's too much. Wife units. Placement. It better be a great shot. So, Tactical gives a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this. Yeah, we can figure out a better tagline, right? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to get more content. <laughs> I know, I felt like a douchebag doing it, trust me. We should figure out something. I, maybe we don't even have to. You tell me, Dan. You tell me.